The magic loop is a technique used for knitting small circumferences in the round. So you can use the magic loop for knitting your socks or your sweater sleeves or a hat uh, or even any sweater. So if you have a long circular needle, you just need like a 40 inch or 100 centimeter circular needle for most of the projects. And you're just gonna pull that cord through halfway through your knitting so that you have this flexibility. These are the magic loops so that your needle tips can meet each other. So let's learn how to do this magic loop technique so you can just use one needle size for all those fun hats, socks, and sweaters. For the magic loop method, you need a long circular needle with a long cable because when you cast on or when you're knitting your sleeve or hat or whatever you have, you need to poke that cord through the middle of your round, okay? So you could say, pretend you just cast on or you're looking at your knitting, look at what the middle of the round is. It could be random, okay? You don't have to be too exact. And then poke that cord out through the middle like this. And then you wanna leave some cord on the other side at the beginning of your round as well. So what you're looking at is a front needle with a loop. This is one of the magic loops poking out halfway through your round. And then when the needle tips kiss each other, they're ready to knit and you have this other loop hanging out at the beginning of your round. So now you're ready with the needle tips meeting each other. You can start knitting or purling your round. Follow your pattern. I'm gonna purl my stitches for this fun sock pattern I'm working on. And you're gonna purl half the stitches until you reach that magic loop. Or knit, whatever you're doing, follow your pattern until you reach that loop. I am halfway through and I reached my loop. So you can drop that left needle. And now what you need to do is work the other half of the stitches. So I just rotated to look at the stitches I need to knit. Here's my working strand of yarn. I'm gonna pull on this loop right here. And look at that. These stitches need to be knitted, so they need to be, you need to slide them onto your other needle. And then that back needle, that back needle with the working yarn, pull on it so you get this new loop. And that makes sure that the needles meet each other. So I'm gonna continue working with the other half of these stitches. And I have my two loops so every time you work half the stitches of your round, you have to make those new loops. So let's knit to the end of our round. I'm working the last stitches, and then what do we do? You can drop that left needle, rotate to look at the stitches you need to work, pull on this loop to the left so that those stitches you need to work with go on your needle. <coughs> And then you have your working yarn and the needle that's next to that working yarn, you need to pull to get another loop there. And that's all there is to it. And you get that flexibility to continue knitting or purling your round. And I just love the magic loop because basically you can have one needle for every size that you need and have it be a really long circular needle. And you can do little circumferences or I could do a big sweater or a big shawl with this needle as well because of that long cord and just keep on going. So that's one way to do that magic loop and it's really quick and easy. And another thing I notice when I'm doing magic loop is if, especially for hats and such, sometimes I have a circular needle that's not quite long enough. So sometimes, let's see if this works. Oh, I think this is gonna work. Sometimes I just work with one magic loop. So sometimes I don't poke a loop through the halfway point and the beginning of the round. Sometimes I just let my cord hang out at the beginning of the round. And usually there's enough stretch so that I can work my entire round with just that one magic loop at the beginning of the round. You don't always need to poke it through the halfway point, but it depends on the circumference and the size of needles you have. So this is working for me now. It's feeling a little tight. Do you see how it's getting so stretchy there? So because it's such a small circumference, I'm gonna do the double loop, double magic loop. There we go. I'm, I'm feeling it much looser and much easier to work these stitches. So I'll give that a try. Now you know the magic loop technique and you can apply this to all of your socks and hats and sweater sleeves 
and uh, enjoy that magic loop and uh, keep on watching for some more fun technique videos and you can subscribe to my channel to learn all the techniques you need to know to knit beautiful sweaters and shawls.